It's 90.3 KEXP, where the music matters. I'm John Richards. This is The Morning Show. We are broadcasting here on a shoegaze morning, and just so happens Soft Science are here to play live. They're up from California. We'll talk to them in a bit, but first, here they are, Soft Science Live on listener-powered KXP.
Pop Science live here on KEXP. Sounding great this morning. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having us. Of Thank course. You so much Thank you for having us. Been playing you for a while, so it's always good to put a name to and face to the music. And Katie, do you mind uh, starting off introductions? I think everyone has a mic. Uh, sure, happy to. Um, we'll start on drums. That's Tony Kale. And on bass, Becky Kale. And on guitar is Matt Levine. And on keyboards is our mastermind. Ross Levine. Yeah. I feel like uh, there's some relatives here in the band. <laughs> Katie, uh, maybe. Katie, I think you have what twin brothers and a marriage and a wh- where? Where is it for you? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm um, well. Ross and Matt are twins, and then um, Tony and Becky are married. And, and why have you not brought somebody into the band? Um, don't to? worry, I'm married to their best friend. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> very, very close. And getting uh, <laughs> over to Tony. Now, Tony almost didn't make it. And and uh, and I don't mean he almost died on the way here, but um, <laughs> Owen said he got a call from you. And the, and the call started, as all great telephone calls go, don't worry, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, is never how you want to start a conversation. Uh, but I often do. Uh, yeah. But uh, they they couldn't get on the plane. Is that right? Yeah, there was a. Uh, it was my first time at Santa Rosa Airport, and uh, it's essentially like a sushi restaurant that people pull their planes up to. And, <laughs> and I was sitting there having a really nice sushi dinner and a couple of pints, and the plane was very late, and so I meander over to the gate and see everybody standing outside on the sort of on the tarmac out there. Uh, getting on the plane, and they wouldn't let me and a few other people on, and it was uh, it was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so the call actually started with, I'm driving to Seattle. <laughs> like, and like, I right, said, right, stop right what you're doing. <laughs> this was 8 o'clock last <laughs> night. He was going to get on. I have driven that car. drive. <laughs> yeah, me too. You would not want to do that late no, into the night. It was mathematically improbable. <laughs> I, yeah, I'd, I'd just be sliding in, I think. <laughs> Which you wouldn't be the first band. To show. <laughs> now you know why we have a green room here at KEXP. Yeah. Um, soft Science. And I should say you're all the way up from Sacramento. So the rest of the members, did you drive up? Yes, we, we drove up. We started the drive on uh, Tuesday afternoon. So a reasonable road yeah. trip for the Had band. A lovely stop in Ashland. Oh, beautiful country. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, and then you're playing the Seagaze Festival tomorrow night, yes. right? Yeah. So you get a little time here in Seattle. So that's yeah. nice. So you, yeah. Do you have plans? Are you... Besides Holy going tonight, I'm sure, to Holy see some Mountain. of the bands. What are you going to do? Holy Mountain Brewery. Oh, good. <laughs> That's it. They're going to go to a brewery. Find a place to post up. Yeah. My, <laughs> or a simple band. They'll be there till Friday, and then they'll go over to Lo-Fi. Yeah. Very tired and drunk. <laughs> so go see them. Um, I... I, I um, I'm a fan of the band. I, I love having, we've had a shoegaze band on recently. We had uh, a few recently, actually. And I like to talk to the band just about influences um, or when they were introduced to the genre and even if they knew it was a genre. Because I, I didn't know it was a thing. I just like those bands. But was there, for any of you, like a band that stood out or a show that made, that like hit you like this is the kind of music I like or want to make? Um, a long time ago, my uh, friend Sean was like, hey, there's a show, you gotta go, you gotta go. It's uh, two bands and they're from England and, and you just gotta go. And I had never heard of either one and it was uh, the Ride Lush tour oh. back in like, was it 91? So, and I was like, oh my, no, no profanity, but right. like Lush comes out, I'm like, what the hell, heck, sorry. But yeah. like, they're, they're so good. And then Ride came out and they were so good. It was the, the, the best double bill I think to this day I've probably ever seen. I had to uh, close at round table. <laughs> so I wasn't there. Did, did you miss the show because you had to close the round table pizza? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so this is a reason why people get fired for the right reasons. <laughs> I know, I know. It's I, literally, it's, uh, it's and, one of those like burdens I have. In his defense, I didn't, I didn't even know what I was getting myself into until I showed up. I, I almost did that for uh, the first Mad Season show at the Crocodile, and I had to close, and we decided as a group that we would take the hit, and we closed early. <laughs> <laughs> so, But everyone had to go. It was like a secret show. Uh, and we went, and nobody got fired. So hey. see, sometimes yeah, sometimes it works. Yeah, it's and solidarity, right? See, kids, what we're trying to say is the music <laughs> comes first. I also um, read that you guys uh, had an older brother. Is that right, who introduced you to music? or an old- Yeah, our initial... Uh, our, 
we were lucky enough to have older brother who had reasonably good musical taste, and that was yeah. a lot of our <laughs> our, our uh, initial with, uh, musical exposure was going through his old his records, and that was that was more foundational stuff like. Uh, uh, you know, REM and U2 and right. Depeche Mode and uh, Echo and the Bunnymen, Love and Rockets, stuff like that to kind of get things started. Uh, that, that is exactly the band you just named my brother introduced me to. Too. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, you couldn't have done a better job there. Was, where, where, where was he? Was he, what was he listening to? Like, where did that come from? You know, he was four years older, so he was off getting into trouble. I don't, you know, yeah. going to shows before we were going to shows and, and, I don't know. I I just know what he. Uh, I knew. I knew he was actually getting into trouble too. <laughs> specific, but uh, it, I just know what was in his collection, and we just put. I just pull stuff out, put it on the turntable, and lay down and listen to it. One of my favorite moments is when I had the new Pixies before my brother, and so <laughs> I put it on and said, "Hey, it's a new Pixies." He went, "Oh, I haven't heard this." And I was like, "This is it!" <laughs> Mic drop. I win. Did you have a moment like playing music, or like where you where you could almost thank him? By, by either introducing him to a band or playing music yourself? Or is he still the cool guy who no, listens he, to all he, uh, he moved out as fast as he possibly could. Yeah. So when we were really started getting going, he kind of w- was gone. Yeah? No, we're, good, we're, we're friends now, but uh, we, there's a big period where he was just like gone. living his life. Yeah, that <laughs> happens. I try to tell that to my uh, sons, you know. And one day, you, these you two are going to be really important to each other. I mean, you guys are stuck. You're twins. I mean, yeah. you're, there's no getting out of this. It's a little disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> P- people ask me, like, what's it like being a twin? I used to be like, I don't know, it's cool, whatever. But the older I get, the weirder it is. It's freaking me out nowadays more and more. What's your best answer to that? Uh, uh, what's what, it like not be a twin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's that like for you? Is it cool not being a twin? What's that like? Uh, talk about the band, Soft Science. How long have you been playing music together? How, how long have you five been, been playing music? I'll, I'll jump in here. Um, Matt and Ross and I have been playing music together for a long time. We, um, prior to Soft Science, we were in the band called California Oranges. And um, when, we, when Kelton, that band broke up, the three of us were just like... We we want to keep going, but then um, we all you know just love the shoegaze dream pop stuff from the '90s so much, and we're like, let's kind of let's do something a little different because our prior work was more of straightforward indie pop rock. Um, so we just we forged ahead, and I think we kind of hit our groove on our second album detour, and then um, continuing to refine it. But um, and then Tony and Becky. Tony joined us um, Adam after right after Detour, and then Becky's recently um, joined us and is uh, moving forward as a bass player. We're so happy to have her. How, how? And my first show was last September in Seattle. Yeah, with them. yeah. All right. So. And how's the balance with with you all? I mean, being adults with families and and wanting to play this music is it? Uh, do you cherish this time more, or is it is it harder to as a band? I, I think. Um, oh, this is gonna be good. Well, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> I, I haven't think, seen my kids. In 10 I think you know. No, you 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 uh, you enjoy everything for exactly what it is and yeah. nothing else. You're not putting all this like future projection on anything, right? You're just like like right now. This is fantastic. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And it is what it is, and you enjoy it. You, you're there's less noise in your head about what you're doing in, in the moment more. Yeah. But also, we do have. Uh, you're not a ton of bandwidth. We have kind of we kind of joke around. We have two modes. We have like writing new song mode, and we have be good live mode and it's really hard to, to shift between them so you know right now this weekend uh, it's l- our last run of performances then we're going to try to focus on making a new record and we're and we're having to unfortunately say no to some shows we're being offered just because we know if we just say if we say yes to one of them then oh we have to start pra- we have to put all this time aside to you know to pull, make sure we have, have pulled it together uh, for our live show and we don't it's hard for all of us to be in the same place we've got to Google Calendar for shows for the uh, Google Calendar to try to schedule practices out. We're like, oh, we'll find tons of practice time. And by the time it was over, we're like, oh my gosh, when are we going gonna- <laughs> to practice three times? <laughs> well, we were talking about off the mic when we started just getting old and, and all the bad stuff that comes up. This is good stuff. It's responsible. Look yeah. at you. You have a Google Calendar. Things are happening. <laughs> You're planning. Um, <laughs> soft science will be, and you're up here road tripping, which is awesome. Yeah. We're glad you all made it. And they're going to be a part again of Seagaze Festival, which starts tonight. They'll be playing tomorrow night. Highly recommend seeing them live. You got two more from us. I know this next, well, I know these next two. You're ending with one of my favorite songs ever, so I'm Wonderful. very excited about that. You clearly have good taste in music. I mean, <laughs> I love soft science, so we've come full circle. And uh, another one here from uh, the Maps release coming up. Y'all ready? 
Yep. All right, it's Soft Science Live here on KEXP. Soft Science Live here on KEXP. One more for us? Yes, and this is a song by and um, written by the House of Love. Hmm. Oh, 
Someone needs to applaud. Thank you. Thanks, John. One of the best anti love love songs ever made. Seriously. I right? don't even like your hair. God, I remember listening to that after a breakup. It was like, oh, they're speaking to me. Why do I love this person? <laughs> They must creepily have written that song for me as one of those people. Soft Science covering House of Love. Uh, I don't know why I love you. What a great ending to our shoegaze morning, too. So I really thank all of you uh, for taking the time today. Thanks thank you so, so much for having yeah, us. Yeah, have a great thank show you. on Friday. Again, Seagaze Festival happening Thursday through Sunday. Soft Science, highly recommend this band live as well. And a big thank you to our crew here, uh, Scott. And, yeah, they're great. And they deserve it. Yes, Justin, Scott, Jim. Carlos as well. Carlos, you were here for Deadly Feco, right? Uh, by the way, his shot, and I follow Carlos now, um, and your shot of Deadly Feco actually popped up my socials, yes, and I... <laughs> I thought, this is an amazing shot. Oh, my God. And it turns out it was on my show, and it was you. Where do people... <laughs> come here, Carlos. Come here. We have amazing photographers come in here and donate a lot of their time. Carlos, where can people follow you and see amazing shots? Uh, you can follow me at um, uh, IamCarlosCruz.com. Okay. And um, that's about it. IamCarlosCruz.com. Go there. If, they, if he asks you to take a band picture, say yes. <laughs> He's very talented, this one. Yes. And, uh, huge, and if everyone <laughs> ever wants to make a record with Kevin Suggs, very smart, too because he is our engineer back there. He's an amazing dude. Uh, big thank you to Owen Murphy as well. He's on the board. And Owen. David for being so awesome with everybody coming in here as well. And of course, big thank you to all of our donors. Without you, there's no KXP. There's no sessions. There's no weirdo shoe gaze mornings. And there's no KXP. So that's it for me. It's KXP Seattle. Goodbye. Thanks so thank much. So much. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.